Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that how to manage risk in Scrum project. First of all, what is a Scrum? Actually, a Scrum is a agile based approach, uh, which is an iterative approach which we use for managing the uh, software or IT projects. So, uh, the main topic is today that how we can manage the risk in the when we are using the Scrum approach for uh, software development. So let's uh, start friend first of all I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Friend Scrum is an approach which we use to manage the software project. It is an agile based approach and it is based on the iterative concept. Uh, it is a base concept of a sprint that we divide the project into smaller chunks to deliver the project to customer. Now, as uh, it was a high level overview of the uh, Scrum. Now, how to manage risk in the Scrum uh, Scrum project? Friend, uh, uh, first of all, try to understand the what is a risk actually. A risk is the uncertain condition of a project for which we are not sure whether it will happen or not happen. It can happen positively, it can happen negatively as well. So the risk concept is that it is the uncertain condition for which you are not sure whether it will happen or not happen. Uh, friend, uh, if risk happened po positively, it will become an opportunity for you. If it happened negatively, it will become an issue for you. And it can negatively impact the project progress. Now, the concept here that how you can manage the uh, risk in the uh, Scrum project. First of all, you must have to make a list of known risk. Uh, discuss the probability of occurrence and impact on your product or project solution. Categorize them. Categorize means that you must have to categorize that what is uh, the category like high, low, medium, uh, the, uh, the category uh, for which it belongs to the category. Then create some strategy or solution that how you can manage those risks. If that risk is, uh, you know that this is, your, uh, this is the risk, then how you can manage it? What is the strategy? For example, you have noticed that your team is not very much competent for any particular technology. This is the risk that it will become an issue at a later stage when you are uh, doing the development, for example. So what you can do, you can uh, you can arrange a training for them so that they can become get the required knowledge for that. Uh, so there are many events are also uh, in the scrum management uh, scrum projects through which you can manage the ris uh, risk. For example, the daily scrum meeting is a very important event in which the uh, stakeholders, the uh, team member, they can discuss whatever the issues they are facing, whatever the risk they are forcing. So it can be discussed in the daily scrum meeting. Sprint planning meeting is also very important because once the team is deciding the sprint, what they are doing, uh, going to do the uh, iteration in the next sprint. So they can discuss whatever the risk they are forcing and how to handle it. Sprint review meeting is also very important because in that meeting you discuss, you uh, showcase your work to the customer and you get the feedback of the customer and also when you are discussing the things with the customer, you can get insight about the risk what, which we can ha happen in the, uh, in the future. Sprint retrospective is, is also very important for risk management because see, uh, in the sprint retrospective, whatever the risk you have seen, whatever the problems you have faced in the current sprint, you will try to avoid it in the next sprint as well. So it is a, also a approach for risk mitigation and uh, th uh, this is a very good approach. Uh, remember friend, the sprint, the sprint itself is in place to reduce a risk thorough is in a tenant desire to create a empiricism. The length of the sprint is discussed as a risk of being disconnected from the stakeholders. Limiting the sprint's length is often limiting risk. Take into account the possibility of delay. What does it mean actually, friend? Uh, for how a risk uh, sprint can be a uh, uh, risk mitigation. See, friend, a uh, risk sprint means three to four week time period. So whatever the issues are there, so you can get it through the feedback of customer within three to four weeks. As, uh, as compared to the traditional project management, like after five months or four months, you will not get the feedback uh, you will get the feedback in just three to four weeks. So sprint is also a very good factor whenever uh, you are getting the feedback at a very early stage from the customer and you can manage those problems and issues at a very early stage. So sprint by itself is a very good thing for uh, risk mitigation. 
सो फ्रेंड थैंक यू थैंक्स लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कोलीग्स एंड थैंक्स लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो थैंक यू